Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sickle here and welcome back to our video. So for the first fight, I'm going to use Batman to drown again this man. Uh, this guy is a bit weird. He's got the crit resistance, which Boss Robin is going to be able to disable, thankfully. He's got the um, uh, fatigue, which causes a bit of power drain, which can be annoyed. And also he's got this thing, which is going to increase his defense, the more power I have. Or he has, I'm not sure 100% entirely, but the Batman Drown team bypasses all of that. Because we don't care about the defense, our damage is not reduced by the defense. Our main damage, that is. Not sure if God here is strong enough to deal this much damage. With only a level 5 crown for passive stats. But we'll see. I get Puppet on Robin King, so I can get that infinite power. Just dealing some percentage shell damage here at the start. Hopefully I don't lose the infinite power after the um, passive runs out. Looks like I'm, I'm keeping it. That's great. And he can tank the super move if he dies. It's fine. He can just get revived by Batman the Drowns. And there should be one more. Come on. No, there was not one more. Super move while we have infinite power. Oh, I just lost infinite power as soon as I tagged in. Oh, and that's why I'm not dealing damage. Why, why do I have Dr. Fate? Why do I have Dr. Fate in this team? I I'm sorry, I just, I just woke up. I, I legit just woke up. There's a Dr. Fate in this team, a Dr. Fate that I have manually uh, put the uh, crown on for passive stats. But yeah, I guess we're doing Dr. Fate's Dark Mouth team. I think, funny enough, even with Dr. Fate in there, we can still kill this man. Like, Dr. Fate is heavily reducing my damage because he's taking the spot of a John Stewart Green Lantern or an Arkham Knight Batman. I keep spamming the special one because it adds from time to time damage against target effects. And at the same time, it's going to add blind and special disabled so that this man can't do anything to me. But yeah, I wasn't sure if I could kill the sim, and I killed it even so with the wrong support character. But yeah, look, Do Dr. Fate, Batman, John, OP, guys. Don't, don't do this, don't do this, just, just do it normally. And yeah, now I have one Dr. Fate less for my teams. I'm going to use here the Ligvarnki plus the Tana, and I'm going to not use the Tana at the start. First, I want to get the crown stacks on Harley active. So that I can deal a ton of damage after I have done the percentage health with Zatanna. Because when I'm doing it, I apply some damage against targets, debuffs with the puppet of Zatanna. And that yields a lot of damage. And I want to take advantage of that. And like full advantage. Like super move done before and all the crown stacks. Bro, can you, can you, can you chill for a second? Okay, super move done. And now... We pray for a uh, third special. That also gets a power refund. Okay, that's power refund. That's great. That's not a power refund. That's that's not great. And again, not the power refund, like we're done with her, but Zatanna could have used that power, though it's okay, we steal a lot in exchange. Okay, let's get Zatanna going. Free special 2, let's go. No free special now. And infinite power, please skip it. 
Let's go. He's also blinded. Now Harley should do a lot of damage. <laughs> I hate that DPI. I'm terrible. And there should still be those buffs active on him. Even at this point, though, I could have taken far bigger benefits out of them. That's terrible that she triggered infinite power. That is absolutely terrible because she lost all my power. But I guess I would have tagged out for super move anyway. Okay, it's not looking great. Only one minute left of the fight. Though we deal a decent amount of damage. Come on, Harley. Despite my best efforts, you can still do this. Would love a power refund right now. A power refund would be highly appreciated right about now. Come on. Come on. There we go. Finally, power refund. I would have been so angry if that failed you. Yeah, I messed up the tag in and tag DPI. If that didn't happen, this man would be dead right now. Or at least closer to dying, I guess. You never know. But I do know I lost a lot of damage there. Any hits before the fight then? No. Also, the power rebounds were not on my side towards the end. 250 ml doable. I'm going to hopefully clear this with the Revenge Black Adam here. And yeah, let's get going. I have a Twin Blade on Black Adam for him to do his percentage health damage faster and also apply the negative effects easier. Puppet on Sarah Banshee and uh, Crown at level 4 for passive stats. Bro, chill, chill, bud. And yeah, Crown on Vixen for passive stats. Bro. This man is pissing me off so much, why he's so fast? Okay, we got infinite power, but we're not gonna keep it for long, so we need to spam special too to make sure enough negative effects are on this man. Okay, now we can start using specials, because you tag this man back in, and he brings back infinite power. It gives me a bit of a buffer. Start working towards stacking it again. Okay, nice. You're blinded. Though you still wasted time with the special animation. Okay, don't lose infinite power on breaking all the disables. That's nice. I have to tag out here. Vixen, you might as well do a swipe. There we go. That's one negative effect additional from Vixen, and that's quite enough. Keep us going for a bit. Here I lose it. There we go. Good thing the blind kind of always stays there because it really helps with the black atom tagans. Oh, my bad there. I lost a lot of damage here, like at least two if not three worth of third specials. That's why you have to wait a bit before they get up, because if they're on the ground, they're immune to damage for some reason. There we go, we got the third special that actually created when we had three disables. Because I was watching that and getting angrier and angrier. Not one that created, wonderful. Wonderful. And another one. There we go, that's, that's working better. And 20 seconds left too. Good job, good job, Sir Banshee. Let's move on. I'm going to use Raven with 
Sword of Sin and King with Beta Claw versus Vixen. I really don't want to deal with her dealing a ton of damage and being annoying. I don't remember what Martian Manhunter does, so using this team here might be something I regret, but uh, we'll see about that. Oh boy, did a ton of damage to Raven on a block hit while she's at no power, and keep in mind she has Berserk, so the more power she has, the more damage she deals. Okay, keep blocking, Raven back in. No, I have no regret for bullying her like this, she deserves it. Let's go, we're speedrunning this actually. That was not a crit, so we're gonna need to jump again. That was not a crit either, but might as well reset darkness. Okay, 67. That's not bad. Good luck trying to do anything, Vixen. There we go. Now let's move on to the final boss. Of this tier. Not of this alright. Unusual gameplay seems to be gone though. That's that's good. That's certainly good. Okay, so this man is not that dangerous. Basically, he gets a bit more fast tech chance and fast tech damage if you don't interact with his mechanic. And his mechanic is a bit dumb. You kind of get more special damage if you build an up combo before using a special. Which in theory sounds nice, but we kind of have two types of damage dealers in the game currently. The ones that deal that their damage to true basic attack hits and the ones that do true specials and those that do, do, do the, their damage with the specials pretty much just spam them. They don't bother building combo anymore. So it's a bit of a weird situation in that regard. Okay, do I just let him kill me? No, I don't think so. I think we keep going here. Flash is here because I didn't really have a further support character to give them. Nothing really mattered anyway, so I thought I might as well just get Batman Flaps percentage shell damage done real quick. There might be a problem with getting killed though, because he's gonna do a few hits into a special and one of the special tags me out. And like puts a restriction on how long until I get tagged back in. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But we gotta get the clone summoned somehow. Is he bugged? Why is he not doing specials? I mean the clones will definitely not mind him not doing specials, that's for sure. Come on buddy, come on you can do it. Okay so far so good. Yeah, he doesn't seem too eager to do any more specials. He caught me there with the jump attack. And yet again, with that jump attack, he mo usually would have turned into a special. I know, this man's weird. Might as well get the second clone in there. Again, my bad, should have gotten hit with a special here, and he blocked there. 
Yeah, this went well. This went well, though it was definitely helped by him refusing to use specials in the second half of the match. But overall, it went pretty well. Could have gotten a bit more out of the last clone. But he's left with just uh, 400 mil. So here I have Manta with Joker as Batrings at level 10. And I have Brignac and Grodd both wearing different level crowns, like level 5-1 and the level 1 crown. Um, I was thinking about giving Brignac puppets, but that kind of defeats the purpose because you want puppet to have the necessary power. But that's going to be already provided by the Grodd passive and we can combo and drop this man. Just as I... Bro! Okay, I was planning to stay for a bit in combat, so I don't mind, but... You know, like, not back off like that into a jump attack? I would highly appreciate it. Okay. Chill. Not the best timing on Brainiac stacking, but decent. I'm gonna back off a bit because I want to do this and then tag Grow to tank Super Move. Bro, what? Uh, there we go. Use Super Move. I was scared for a second. He had absolutely no reason not to use a super move there. Oh, I forgot his stun resistance. Though it's fine, I want it only to push him to the corner. Wasn't really planning to rely on the stuns. Oh wow, look guys, I'm getting increased damage on specials, that's great. It's very weird because the damage boost seems to apply only to the first part of the special too. And the second and third part of it don't seem to be buffed by it. Doesn't matter anyway, that's not how we deal the damage. But funny that it's not even working properly. Yeah, we're not killing this man. This is just as far as I could push my Manta and Mr. Freeze was not an option because this man is immune to stun and freeze and it would not have been a great experience. But yeah, that's as much as Manta could do. He did the best he could. And that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like that if you liked it, dislike if you liked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye!